As you can see, I'm playing Sonic Colors, which is a Nintendo DS game on my Android phone using the Drastic Emulator. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to download and set up the Drastic Emulator on your Android device so that you will be able to play Nintendo DS games on your mobile device. Well, one might ask, what is Drastic? Drastic DS Emulator is a powerful emulator for Android operating systems, which allows you to emulate one of the most popular hand consoles of all time, the Nintendo DS. Best of all, it gives you the chance to play the entire catalog of this legendary portable console and allows you to do so with tons of improvements and additional features. Easy to set up and easy to use. Unlike other emulators, in order to use Drastic DS Emulator, you don't need BIOS or anything similar. Simply select the folder where you've saved the ROM you want to load, and the game will start after a few seconds. You don't even have to take a look at the app's configuration options, as everything is already set up to optimize the performance of each game. Your only concern will be finding the time to play all the ROMs available for this console. First of all, open your Google Play Store and search for the emulator called Drastic. This is a free emulator, so you won't be charged for downloading it. Now download it, and after that, let's set it up. So after you download the emulator and open it, this is the interface of the Drastic emulator. What we're going to do is adjust some settings. I'm going to teach you how to configure these settings. First, press on the option that says Change Options. Then select Video. Under Filter, set it to FXEEHQ. You can choose any filter, but I recommend this one. Make sure you enable high resolution 3D rendering. And also 16 bit rendering. An important setting is keep main screen on top screen. Ensure this option is enabled. Next, go back and open General. Enable Show FPS. Under Default Layout, I suggest choosing X1. Select this option and then go back. Now let's set our game directory. To do that, press on the option Load New Game. You will see an interface where you need to select the folder that contains your Nintendo DS games or ROMs. In my case, my games are located in a folder called Drastic. Press here and you will see your internal storage. If you can't find your internal storage, press the three dots in the corner. Select Show Internal Storage. Navigate to your internal storage, then open the folder that contains your Nintendo DS games. In this case, my games are located in the folder called Drastic. Open this folder and select Allow Access to Drastic. Confirm by pressing Allow. After that, you should see your games. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel.